B. With that exception, prayer C in the alternative, and with that exception. This petition was brought in public interest, and I find in view of the be prudent to order each party to bear its own cause. That is my judgment. Much obliged, perhaps before the Uh Yes, my lord, I have really? yes, my lord, I have received instructions uh, of, of your decision, my lord. And in view of the fact that your lordship has allowed the petition, I have received instructions, my lord, to Secondly, my lord, obviously we shall be requesting for certified copies of the proceedings and the judgment rendered by your lordship today, my lord. Third adoption says that we, the commission, shall require a number of days. Let's say just about seven days or so, my lord. Within which to comply with the order, my lord. My lord, the ICT department of the commission has made it very clear that they require time to reconfigure the template, my lord, in respect of the register. My lord, for them to be able to, pro to provide the said, my lord, to the petitioners, my lord, But in addition, but with respect to the printing of the hard copy register, but the hard copy register, with respect to the supplying of the hard copy register, but not in view of the sensitivity of the register, this is a contract that has been undertaken by a company, my lord, known as Zelaru. The commission would then request to be allowed, my lord, including budgeting, my lord, and the rest, for purposes of ensuring lord, that this happens, my lord. My lord, with respect to the portal, I'm, I'm just trying to explain, like, my lord, with respect to the public portal, The Commission, my Lord, has maintained two portals, my Lord. Fully aware of that, my Lord. How many hours to go? Pardon? How my many Lord, hours to go? It begins at 6 a.m., my Lord. It begins at 6 a.m. <laughs> Tomorrow, we have to deliver on our mandate under the Constitution for the people of Kibra constituency. <laughs> that, that is the challenge, my Lord. So we'll, we'll, we'll urge our colleagues, perhaps, to understand and perhaps urge the court also to be able to allow us that time within which to comply. Of course, it is the right of the respondent to appeal, if it so desires, the need for leave to be granted for the same. In short, we are not opposed to them being granted certified copies of these proceedings and the judgment of the court to facilitate their appeal. My Lord, we, however, take great exception to the arguments by my learned friend that they require seven to ten days to comply with your order.
it is common knowledge, my lord, that we have an election set for s the seventh. That is just a matter of hours from today. And it is for that reason, my lord, that we filed this petition under certificate of urgency. And for which, my lord, you place aside all your matters to give priority to the petition and to deliver this judgment so that yesterday when we urged this petition before you, there was no indication that in the event that the petition succeeds, it would require seven to ten days to comply with your order. As a matter of fact, you will remember Council Mr. Mahat pointing out to you that even yesterday, if voters in Kibra constituency wanted to access the register, 118,000 of them, they were ready to facilitate that. What has now changed that requires them seven to ten days to effect your orders? Furthermore, uh, my lord, we submitted before you, and we have authority to support that position, the authority of Gladwell Otieno, that the duty to publish voter information in the register is a duty that persists at all times, at all times. When we spoke about the 180,000 voters, the individual voter, to be able to access my lord. The respondents seek leave to appeal against the judgment, and I may not grant leave in this matter, as the right to appeal is automatic. However, if the court is wrong on this point, I will grant leave to the respondent to appeal against the judgment. The petitioner and respondent pray for proceedings and certify copy of the judgment. I will direct the proceedings to be typed and upon this court has been requested to grant stay of his judgment pending appeal for a period between seven and ten days before the election scheduled for tomorrow. I have considered the grounds for seeking orders of stay and the reasons for opposing the same. If we have to grant stay, it will mean this court's judgment was, would be rendered negatory because of the remaining period for compliance. Much as the respondent has tried to persuade this court to grant stay in view of the remaining hours before election. I find that it would part of this judgment. In view of my findings here in above, I find and all that this petition succeeds. According, the petition is allowed, and I proceed to enter judgment in favor of the petitioner as follows. A declaration B and is hereby issued that the respondent violated the petitioner's right under Article 35 1A 
and B of the Constitution, and Section 41B of the Access to Information Act, number 31 of 2016. So, a order B and is hereby issued, that is under A, compelling the respondent to provide photos in Kibra constituency and the public at lunch with Kibra constituency photos register containing all information prescribed in Form A of the schedule to election regulation of photos, regulation 22, in all polling stations and in the public online photo. Safe, this is the most important part, safe confidential information <coughs> and which may be injurious to photos, such as telephone numbers, home or property, possession seized, and the information to their family or private affairs unnecessarily required or reviewed, or the privacy of their communication, <coughs> which is protected under Article 31 of the Constitution of Kenya, 2010. I have also proceeded to grant prayer B, with that exception, prayer C in the alternative, and with that exception. On the issue of course, <coughs> This petition was brought in public interest, and I find in view of the nature of this petition, it will be prudent to order each party to bear its own cause. That is my judgment. Much obliged.